Alrighty guys, what is going on? Give me an X in the chat box if you can hear me and see uh, the first slide on the screen. Alrighty, looks like some of the guys can see. Just wanna double check, we'll be getting started here in a few minutes, just letting the room fill up here and then we will get started. Alrighty, guys, give me an X if you can see my screen and hear my voice. Uh, we're just getting, uh, letting the room get filled up here as we uh, get started here in the next five minutes or so. Alrighty, guys, welcome in. My name is Matt Wasik. I am the host of the workshop tonight. Uh, give me an X in the chat box if you can hear me, as well as see the first slide of the presentation. All right, looks like Troy can see, Jason, Justin, Andy. Cool, cool, cool. We'll be waiting here just a few more minutes. Let the room fill up. Uh, it's still a little bit before 7, so we're going to uh, probably get going about 7.02, 7.03, uh, at least Central Time. If you're in uh, East or West Coast, time will be a little bit different. But a couple minutes after the hour is when we're going to get going. Looks like Lyle can see the screen. Cool, cool. Just stick around here. We've got a little bit of wait time here just for everyone to come in. Usually people like to uh, come in a little bit late sometimes. So uh, we're just waiting here for a little bit. <clears throat> Alrighty guys, the ones that are just coming in, we'll be getting started here in a couple minutes. Give me an X in the chat box if you can hear me. Uh, and if you're fired up as well, you're ready to learn some cool stuff about uh, getting more work for your business. Uh, something I'm really pumped up to share with you guys. And uh, it's going to be a good time. We're going to be getting going here in about four minutes. Alrighty guys, for the ones just coming in, we'll be getting going here in a few minutes, just waiting for the room to fill up uh, as it is still a little bit before the top of the hour. And then we'll be getting going. Give me an X if you're fired up, ready to learn a bunch of cool training about lawn and landscape businesses, or business ownership, I should say, and growing that business. And uh, yeah, just give me an X if you can hear my voice as well as see the first slide on the screen.
Alrighty, for the guys just rolling in, we'll be getting going here in a few minutes, just letting the room fill up here. We'll be getting going at about three minutes after the hour. But if you are in here, you can hear me. You can see the slide on the screen. Give me an X. Also give me a one or two or whatever you want to let me know if you're fired up to learn some cool business training. Alrighty, for the guys just rolling in, be starting here in a couple minutes. If you can see the screen, hear my voice, just give me an X in the chat box or whatever it is you want to type in. Uh, otherwise, yeah, we'll just hang tight here for a couple more minutes. We'll be getting started about three minutes after the hour, and then we'll get going here with the training. Alrighty, guys, what is going on? Just letting the room fill up here. Just a couple minutes past the hour, letting uh, the rest of the attendees get in. Sometimes it can be kind of hectic trying to get in and all the people trying to file in at once. We'll be getting going here in a little bit. Give me an X in the chat box if you can hear my voice as well as see the first slide here of the presentation. We'll be getting going here in a couple minutes, but uh, just hang tight. We'll be getting going here very, very soon. Just letting everyone get in. For everyone just coming in, welcome into the workshop. We'll be getting going here in just a minute or so, waiting for the rest of the room to fill up here, and then we'll be getting going. Give me an X if you can hear my voice. Smash the number one button if you're pumped up to learn some sweet advertising techniques, as well as some just really cool training about growing your landscape business, uh, something that I've uh, really pumped to share with you guys, and uh, we'll be getting going here very, very soon. Alrighty, we are going to get going right now. 7.04 as of right now. So what is going on? If you guys are fired up, let's get this thing started. Looks like Troy's here. Andy's here. Lyle's ready for it. Joe, Jason. All right, let's get this started here. So what we're going to do here is show you how to generate 10 grand in new landscape jobs in the next 30 days without spending a fortune on advertising. So that is my promise for you in this workshop so that at the end of it, you'll know exactly how to do that. And if so, then this workshop will be a success. So first things first, though, is if you stay to the end, and you're an active participant, you will get a, pro a copy of the project winning proposal with cover letter that has generated seven figures in lawn, landscape, and snow sales. So if you guys want that, give me an X in the chat box if that sounds cool. If you guys don't like it, well, I don't really know uh, who wouldn't want that, but let me know if you guys want that. Looks like Lyle, he says yes. 
Jason says yes. Zach, Andy. All righty, cool, cool. And that's if you guys stay through the end. Troy says, hell yeah, he's pumped up. All righty, cool. Very, very cool. So where is everybody from? I want to just get a quick little survey, see where everyone's from, and that way I can kind of gauge what, uh, what is where everyone's from and, and kind of business status and that sort of thing. Looks like Minnesota, that's sweet. Uh, south of Dallas, Texas, Eastern North Carolina. Someone's from Florida, California. So pretty much got the whole nation covered pretty much here. So already cool, cool, cool. And then what is everyone's business status? You guys, uh, beginners, veterans, just a couple years in, or, or what's your exact status with business? Just like to really sample the audience just to see where everyone's at. So that way you can kind of uh, engage the uh, the training towards that. So Troy's in his first year. Andy's in his third year. Let's see, Zach is fifth year in. All right, cool. Cool, cool. So we've got a mix of a sample here. Lyle is in his third year on his own. Very cool, very cool. All righty, so what makes this different? And that is, the first thing is that just, close everything else down. If you're not paying attention, none of this can really help you at all. So just put your phone somewhere else. No Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, TV, email, phone, all that sort of stuff. In order for you to get as much value as possible from this training, you're going to have to pay attention. And that's really, really important so that way you can get as much info out of this as possible. So a little bit about me. Uh, my name is Matt Wasik. I am originally from the Twin Cities metro area. I've generated seven figures in lawn, landscape, and snow sales. I'm going to show you how you can start to do the same with your business, depending on where you're at, and a lot of different things like that where you can get going. Uh, some of you may know me, some of you may not, but uh, I don't really talk a whole lot about this whole story. But really, I got going in 2007, started working for a local lawn company. I was 15 years old, fell in love with doing the work and more so the idea of becoming my own boss. And the mainly because the owner worked in the field with us and he was just uh, kind of a person you could really relate to. And it was really just a fun working environment, even though it was 95 degrees and we're out there busting our butts. But fast forward a couple of years, graduate high school in 09, went to college to pursue accounting and finance with the ever present goal on my mind to really just know the numbers side of things when it came to running a business. I knew that in order to have a business and have it be successful like I wanted it to be, I had to know numbers. I couldn't just know how to do all the work and that stuff's important, but I also needed to know the numbers as well. But I got into college and I really didn't like it. It was honestly, it was a miserable experience to be there. And then I transferred to a local technical school. Oops, bumped up a slide there. Uh, tra transferred down to a local technical school to study horticulture and uh, landscaping was the program. I landscape tech was the name of the program, but immediately started my business about a month after getting in there. So right when I got started and then I had nothing at that point in time, but just my laptop and I was working as an aircraft fueler, which was about 10 bucks an hour. It sounds like it might be a really glorious job, but it's really not. Uh, and this was in early 2011 in the winter time and going up sky high, 30 feet in the air behind or underneath airplane wings to put fuel in. And I'm afraid of heights. So I didn't like it, but then over the next five years, I grew that lawn landscape business to multiple six figures, months routinely generating 25 to 30 grand in revenue. Big thanks to learning how to market my business online. That's one of the things that had really, really helped tremendously. Here's some of the jobs that we've done. Uh, here's a patio. Well, actually, this is pretty much entire backyard reconstruction. A uh, really long story behind that with how we had gotten it and the previous contractor had kind of just fallen apart with doing the project, but turned out really well. There were a couple other companies that were working on doing like the pergola here, as well as the outdoor kitchen, which is what this little concrete space is, but another hardscape project, uh, a little bit of grading here on the upper right. And then a homeowners association where we we're installing mulch, uh, in one of the median landscape beds. And yes, the street was all cleaned off after we were done with that one. But then we also did maintenance as well. So here are just some shots of doing maintenance, some of the equipment here at the end of a really long day. I believe this was like a day of aerating and had that there in the trailer. And this was doing a little bit of snow work. So some residential and then uh, stacking piles here in the middle and then doing some residential or sorry, not residential, commercial parking lot plowing over here on the right. So uh, 
what do you guys do for your services? What are you offering maintenance or construction, snow or everything in between? Looks like Jason's mostly maintenance. Justin's does some snow and installation. Cool. So we got a good variety here. Alrighty. Cool. Cool. Tiffany does irrigation system installations and repairs. Very cool. I got some good friends that do a lot of irrigation system installation. Very lucrative business to say the least. But uh, then I led with with the with doing really well with the internet marketing for my business. We were ranked number one in Google for uh, basically lawn care in our service or in our service cities, as well as landscaping, snow removal, and I believe our map listing is still showing up there, even though I had sold the business. But uh, started taking on a few clients that were mostly colleagues within the industry back in early 2015. This is also when I started with entrepreneurship, where it was called the Rookie's Guide at that point in time, and that became. A few different books and uh, the beginning of this whole just community here. So then I got to the point where time was really stretched. I knew I could help a ton of people with digital marketing, and that's exactly what I did. I decided to sell my landscape business in early 2016 to pursue digital marketing and growing that business. And then I created entrepreneurship into a big global community of lawn, landscape, and snow business owners. So I did a, a lot of things right, but there were also a lot of things I'd done wrong to say the least. So one of the things that a lot of uh, business owners kind of struggle with, and this is something that I've kind of observed is that a lot of them, their biggest strength is not really marketing. Uh, another thing is that many business owners will start out with just buying a ton of equipment before any sales are coming in. And then they can be stuck with no cash flow or a lot of debt and stress to get those bills paid. And something that I've really also discovered with this is that you can advertise your business effectively without breaking the bank or having to spend days upon days walking and distributing door hangers. And you can still generate a solid return on your investment. And so I had discovered pretty much all this the hard way. That's kind of how I came about all this. And you will get the easy way. So picture this, you have a booming business with new customers calling every day, email inboxes filling up, work is coming in like crazy. And just think about that. Imagine your business being like that. And imagine it's in a month from now, what will your life be like when your business is raking it in? What's it going to be like? Pretty exciting, right? Looks like a whole bunch of yes is coming in. Very cool. Very cool. Lyle's pumped up. He says, yes. So I'll walk you through the hard way. And this is when I had gotten started was basically I knew nothing about marketing when I got started with my business. Uh, I knew what ads were, but taking marketing classes in school really didn't teach me very much about uh, creating effective ads that actually generated more business. And this is after the fact of spending a whole bunch of money in college. Go figure. I also followed the path that a lot of my colleagues and what my so-called friends who weren't even business owners at that point in time back then had they that they had suggested. Go out there, buy a mower, get all the accessories, so like your trimmers, blowers, shovels, all that stuff, and then you go get customers. And that's really bad advice because you have no money coming in. And then I also spent a just fortune on pretty much every form of advertising that you could, that you could imagine. Door hangers, every door direct mail, postcards, Craigslist, I built a website and ranked it on Google. That actually helped out really, really well. Flyers, business cards, t-shirts, even ended up meeting with the Yellow Pages people as well as paying Yelp for marketing services. The list goes on. Super expensive to do all that testing and just to learn all that stuff. And it was very, very uh, cumbersome in a way as well as it was just kind of a pain sometimes because working with some different forms of advertising, it doesn't work. And then you just watch a bunch of your money go away and it's really frustrating sometimes. So would you guys want the easy way that doesn't really require you to ever waste time or money? Looks like everyone's saying yes. Austin says yes. Troy, absolutely. Cool, cool, cool. So first things first, so I got to cover this is that results are not typical. I'll walk you through some specific promotions and systems that are earning a lot of sales and leads numbers right now. However, the results I'm going to show you are certainly not typical. And the average person that, that attends any training gets zero results. However, I am very happy to show you what's working 
totally for free here in this workshop. This isn't really for get rich quick people or work from home biz op people or any of those multi level marketing, whatever that kind of crap is. That's not for this. This is just uh, plain examples of what some good, smart, and hard work can get you. So, my goals for this workshop is if you're just starting out, is to help you get your first paying clients. And if you've been in business for a little while, take these methods and use them to scale up your business and generate more sales, more clients everything in the whole package. So what we're going to be covering here is how to get your first landscape clients within just hours of this training. Many, many may even land one before the training is over. And then how you can do all these landscape installation projects, even if you have no equipment right now. So if you're just getting started, this will help you with getting going, even if you don't even own a single shovel. And then three unique advertising methods that are 100% free and have generated just tens of thousands of dollars. So who is ready to learn these three secrets and go in depth with them? Looks like everyone's pumped up. Tef Tiffany says yes. Andy says, hell yeah. All right, cool, 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 cool. Troy says, let's do it. Alrighty, so first secret is that many say, or well, I would actually actually say most, it takes a long time to get clients when you are just starting out. And that's just not true. The old model though is to pound pavement for days on end, knock on doors, even if you don't have any door hangers or flyers. Uh, I remember reading on some forums and, and groups and stuff where people say they just go out and knock on doors and talk to people. And is that cool to do? And it is, does it build rapport and that sort of thing? Yes. But it's a really big time suck because you could end up spending a lot of time talking to people who have no interest in what you are offering them. So what I would like to call is the new model, which is the curious student me student method. It's a really big help for beginners, especially if you're starting out and you don't have a track record of jobs, but basically using your social media to your advantage because this will cost you basically nothing. And what you can do, and this is basically what I had done right away, was make an announcement on Facebook. Uh, it doesn't have to be totally verbatim of this script here, but something along the lines of, hey, uh, Facebook friends, hey, Instagram, whichever social media form you're using, proud to announce I've officially started my own landscaping business, um, MJW Landscape Contracting, that's my company's name, or what it was. Uh, we'll be specializing in whichever services you want to offer. If it's patios, retaining walls, or if it's irrigation, or it's just mulch and rock and shrubs. My work quality is top of the line. I'm looking to get some jobs under my belt. If anyone is in need of a landscaping project, or maybe you can put small landscaping project in there if that's what all you want to do, I'm your guy. And another thing that you can add to this is that you would give them a discount in exchange for a review on your Facebook page for your business or your Google Maps listing as well. And I'm not talking like 50% or anything crazy, like maybe a hundred bucks off the project where it will get people coming in and they'll be enticed to do it. And then you also get reviews, which then you can refer back to when you have new clients coming in and say, Hey, this is what we did for these guys. This is what they thought about it. Here are some pictures of it. And that's where it really just gets the snowball rolling. So the cool thing about it is using your social media reach to your advantage will cost nothing. Another thing is that people will really resonate with this and they'll think, hey, wow, this guy's a go-getter. I'm going to share this for my friends to see. Uh, you'll see a lot of this like if uh, well, obviously like parents and, and whatnot, but uh, other just people from the next generation above you will see that and the, they realize, oh, this guy's actually wanting to go out and, and do something besides just get a job. So they usually will share it. So here is kind of how I had gotten my start. This is way back in 2011. Uh, I was 19 and just ready to just take on the world and basically say, hey, be ready to get to know this logo. Thanks to uh, my designer who had gotten this thing designed and some people started sharing it, a bunch of comments, all that sort of stuff. Uh, and then here is another thing that you want to do is make sure you add your company's uh, information to your work info on your Facebook page and even maybe your Instagram, at least by saying that, hey, I'm a business owner, and then uh, add in the services as well. So that way people can see exactly what it is that you offer. And I believe now on Facebook's pages, you can add in the services that your company offers right, right there in the, uh, in the pages. So that way someone can go and visit and learn exactly what the service is, what it entails, what the cost approximation is. And obviously with landscaping, that can vary tremendously, but it's a good start for people. And obviously I didn't update this until August of last year. And obviously we got started in about March, 2015, but 
that's just definitely what you want to do. Pretty much just quick little tagline about what the company is and then the services offered can be as in depth as you want, or you can uh, have it just be the, the three main titles of lawn landscape maintenance, landscape design and construction, snow and ice management. Uh, it's something that's really, really cool to do because even 10 years ago, this really wasn't around to be able to put it to use. And now you can at least get a couple jobs coming in with really hardly any time investment to post on social media. Now you might be thinking, will this work for me? Obviously it had worked for me. Will it work for you? Uh, these are a couple of buddies of mine who would do this. This was a few years back when they just got going with their business. They were in like year two, but uh, just posting about doing irrigation blowouts and say, they just, hey, blowout season, give us a call with a picture of their truck and then the phone number. The cost to post this was nothing but 30 seconds of time. And the potential ROI is seriously exponential, especially when it gets shared and all that sort of stuff. And the other thing is that when you are, making posts on your business which, where you can do this exact same thing like during the day when it's uh, like a blowout season or even during startups or especially with blowouts because it's something that everybody that has an irrigation system must have done. They can see this and the ROI from it is just huge. Another thing though is whenever you post on your company's Facebook page, make sure you share it on your personal page because that way it can just be seen by a lot more people because when you have a personal page, your newsfeed is going to be, or your posts are going to be seen more in the newsfeed as opposed to a business. They want, Facebook wants businesses to start uh, paying for ads and boosting posts and all that sort of stuff. So obviously their reach is going to be declined quite a bit compared to uh, the personal pages. So there's another tip that you want to do there because Facebook likes to change their algorithms. And of course they want as much money as possible. So, what do you guys think of secret number one? Could you put it to use? Maybe for the guys that are just getting or just getting going, it'd be a tool to use if you are have been in business. It's probably not groundbreaking, but it's definitely something that can put to use, uh, especially with the services like, hey, we're just getting going with blowouts. Definitely need to do this service because otherwise your system will freeze if you're in an area where that occurs. But now for secret number two. So many will say that you just can't do any projects unless you have a whole fleet of equipment and it's just ugh, so untrue. <laughs> oh man, it's, it is just, ugh, this thing, this just frustrates me tremendously. And partly because I was one that did this, but the old model of doing this is go buy mower, trimmer, blower, trailer, truck, when you have no paying customers yet. And this is just a bad idea. The reason being is that equipment makes no money and equipment is awesome. I love equipment. I love uh, seeing like the crazy new skid loaders coming out, especially like the Kubota machines that are just straight up badass and uh, zero turns and the work that you can do and how amazing you can make a lawn look. They're amazing to say the least, but when it's sitting there not making any money with no customers, it's just a bunch of metal sitting there not doing anything and it needs, it's an asset that needs to be making your business money. So Without customers, equipment is worthless. So the new model with this is instead of spending money on that equipment, invest that money into advertising for small landscape installation projects. Now you might be thinking, holy cow, this is kind of crazy, but it's not. And if anyone's wondering why, because landscape installs will require a down payment from your clients before the job gets started. Always, 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 unless it's maybe about $250. But if it's really above $500 to $1,000 or more, especially if you're in the beginning stages, you are definitely going to want to have some form of down payment because if it's a $1,000 job, you're probably going to be spending maybe $300, $400 on materials. And that's generally kind of what the consensus is through most jobs is about 30 to 40%, depending on the job type. You need to get money up front for sure. So then the cool thing is you can take that money from the initial deposit, go buy your needed equipment, and then the materials as well. So instead of having to put your neck on the line and risking your money, you can basically get paid to invest in your first pieces of equipment, which is safe and smart to do. Then you can also just get paid to basically build that. And the reason that we're doing the small landscape installations. And you're probably also wondering what jobs can you do that won't require a ton of equipment because yes, doing irrigation installation or 
uh, patio installation. I, I, if you're just getting started, I really would not recommend trying to do patios because there's a lot of things that can go into it. Uh, and without the proper training and knowing exactly how to do it and all the right equipment, things can go south pretty quickly. But the reason that you want or what you want to be doing is small, basic landscape installation. So things like mulch, rock, edging, plantings, they're insanely profitable and simple to do. If it's you out in the field with maybe one guy or maybe two guys working, depending on how big the job is, the profits are just sky high. And again, if you don't have a truck to pull the uh, a dump trailer or a truck to haul all the material, you can get everything delivered by your supplier uh, as long as it's a legit supplier. If it's a Home Depot or something, which I definitely wouldn't recommend going to, they're probably not going to deliver. But this is what we did on every single landscape installation. This is just a couple examples here. I'll show you of just some jobs that where we just showed up and didn't have anything, but basically wheelbarrows and uh, just basic like knives and shovels and rakes. Uh, this was about an acre of sod that we had installed. We just showed up with one truck and one small trailer to throw all the pallets on because as you can see, there was a boatload of them there. And that was basically a finished project there, finished product, I should say. And that was with no equipment. Obviously, it had to be graded and stuff, and, and we were subcontracted the job for this, but the company that subbed it to us did all the grading and they did all that work. So you can go out there, and I believe this job was about six grand. And I want to say my margin on it, because I was out there in the field when we did this, but the margin on that, even with a bunch of things going wrong, was uh, about uh, about 40%. So it took home about 1800 to two grand on the day. And that was hardly any equipment costs. And that's just one of those things where it's, this is almost easy to do because literally it's just rolling outside as long as you know the, the proper processes. Here's another project where you can put that to use. Uh, it doesn't really look like anything's wrong here with the job or with the picture on the left, but it's actually kind of a really just super small retaining wall that was falling over. Customer wanted us to basically, uh, they were on a super tight budget, but they wanted us to re rebuild the wall. And basically what we did was pulled apart fill it in with base material, pack it down really nice, and then rebuild it, glue each block, all said and done. Only use shovels and uh, wheelbarrows and then just your basic measuring tools. Then here's another one where, yes, there's a massive tree in this one here on the left, but uh, as you can see, the finished product on the right is much, much, much better. But uh, the cool thing about it is we never, ever did tree work, just subcontracted out. They do all that work, taking the tree out, the stump, all that sort of stuff. We came in. Uh, there was a bit more to this project than just the landscape bed here with grading and doing sod and all that sort of stuff. But super simple project where you go in and you can hand dig everything and put in the edging, put in the mulch and shrubs and all that sort of stuff. Super, super simple and also very, very profitable at the same time. So what we did on every single job, though, was get money up front and then the remainder at completion. Sometimes customers will maybe want to do one third at contract signing, one third at the day one when you show up with all the equipment and the material, and then the remaining third at the completion. Uh, it just depends sometimes customers and, and the job price point as well. Sometimes customers doesn't like writing a check for $10,000 to somebody before they haven't even uh, brought any equipment to the site, the locates haven't been called, and they just don't really want to spend that much at that very point in time. But either way, if you're doing jobs between I'd say about one thousand to five thousand dollars. You could definitely get twenty five or get fifty percent up front. Then you can go out. You have very little risk when you're purchasing thousands of dollars potentially in material, and then any additional equipment that's needed. And then this will end the troubling trend of having oh crap, I have a fifteen thousand dollars of materials on my account and my supplier. Now I'm stuck with no cash after paying my labor and waiting for my clients to pay me, which is a really really bad spot to be in. If anyone's been in there in that spot before, you will know how bad that it is. So now I've basically shown you how to basically get paid before doing the work, allowing you to get these jobs before you purchase a single shovel. How sweet is that? Give me a two in the chat box if you think that's pretty nifty. Looks like the two's rolling in. Troy says, yep. Lyle says, yep. Cool, cool, cool. So as we move into secret three, most will say that it costs a lot of money to advertise uh, with some forms of media. That can be true. However, it all comes down to what kind of ROI you can get from it and how long-term your vision is with your business. But the old model to go about this, and this is exactly how I've 
how I got started was buying flyers, door hangers, postcards, newspaper ads, and yellow page listings and all that sort of stuff, and then get ready to work hard by pounding the pavement for the next two days straight. And this is exactly what I did to get my first few clients. And it's a horrible, horrible, horrible idea. Think about the amount of time that it takes to distribute just 2,000 door hangers. If it takes an average of about 30 seconds to reach each house, that's 1,000 minutes to distribute, nearly 17 hours of work, and one tired business owner. And with a 1% return on those, you'd be getting about maybe 20 leads after all of that effort. Or you can use three free methods online to reach five times as many people with about 10% of the time requirement, if that. So who wants to learn these sweet techniques? Who's pumped? Uh, First one is Facebook group posting, not just networking groups for owners, because there are a ton of them, including entrepreneurship. We have our own Facebook group as well. But Uh, Also, the community groups can be huge. Basically, using the exact same posts that you made on your social page, if you're just getting going or even if you are have been in business for a few years, people are always looking for landscape companies, lawn companies, snow removal, depending on what time of year it is and all that sort of stuff. But basically going in there and if they allow for business postings, which usually they do as long as you're not just spamming the group. But the cool thing about it is that they're filled with thousands upon thousands of homeowners. I mean, there's some of these groups with 30,000 people in it that need work done. Even if just half of a percent of them want some work done, there's a good amount of clients potentially right there. Where you can basically just say, uh, instead of, hey, Facebook friends, hey, city name or neighborhood community, if it's a neighborhood group, but basically, hey, we're just getting started. Our work quality is excellent, looking to get some more jobs under our belts. And if anyone's in need in a project, I'm your guy. You can even offer a free service, uh, but you'll definitely want to do a discount just like in the earlier post with a review on in exchange for a business review on either Google or Facebook. But the one thing is you don't want to sound too spammy and put yourself, but you want to put yourself out there and just don't be afraid of what someone may say. Cause sometimes there's some pretty bitter people on Facebook, but don't let that dis- distract you or deter you from what you want to do. So the next thing to do is optimize your LinkedIn page. If you have one, if you don't, I definitely recommend it because it's another free source of advertising where you can basically post up, hey, I own this business and uh, is is your, or do you need these services? This is exactly what I've done with my LinkedIn for my marketing services. It's basically just saying, hey, uh, this is exactly what we do. Let me show you how we can help your business grow by Uh, implementing these forms of marketing with your business. So that way you can really just, uh, let's see here with it. Yeah, and another thing that you wanna do is maybe have some sort of special offer for the LinkedIn connections only. So that way, one, you know that they came from there and it's really easy to track, but two, it can also entice people to want to uh, start working with you. And the other cool thing about it is with it being like a business oriented type of social site that can lead to a lot more customers and you can find other business owners. So say like the insurance agent down the road who owns that building, or maybe it's the guy that owns the gas station or owns a retail store, owns a restaurant. The word can spread pretty quickly with, uh, within the business community and business owner community. And that's how you can start getting the commercial accounts. And that's one way that we had started doing it with my company was really just word of mouth within the commercial side of things. But one of the offers that I do with the marketing company is basically just say, hey, say, hey, uh, contact me to review your top two or three competitors, uh, or we'll analyze them and review your top two or three competition and let you know what those let you know what those are for free in exchange for a testimonial and maybe 15 minutes of your time where I then go in and talk to them about their marketing and all that sort of stuff. So maybe for you guys, you could probably go in and basically say, hey, Uh, If you're doing fertilizing weed control, maybe it's a free soil test to see what the pH level is to see how uh, or what exact fertilizing and weed control they would need. Or if it's doing irrigation, you could do a free audit of their system to just check it over, make sure everything works. Uh, The possibilities are really endless. Pretty much anything that you could do that'd be a really super discount service, you could kind of give it away for free or really, really deeply discounted and it gets people in the door so that way you can sell them later on. So are you guys ready for method three? Give me an X or a two or or whichever button you want to hit and let me know if you guys want to see method number three. 
It's like Tiffany says X, Lyle says X, Troy, Alex, Jason. Very cool, very cool. Alrighty, so you guys are probably going to think I'm absolutely crazy for this, but Craigslist. And <laughs> the crazy thing about this is that we'll take a look at a member of within the entrepreneurship community uh, with their ads that they use for the landscape and irrigation company. And it's almost shocking as to just how super plain and super basic it is. No crazy coding because when I was doing Craigslist, I was trying to go in and just make it super, super unique. And I was doing all this HTML code to make the fonts bigger and colors and uh, just tons and tons of pictures and all this sort of stuff. And you look at this and it's straight up plain. The text is in all caps. They have the price right here at the top. So that way people can see what it is or what you see is what you get. And obviously there's a picture there with a, a lawn that was just uh, sodded and then just contact information, check out the website and, some, and then basic just services that they offer. And then also a call to action, super, super basic. And it's one of those things you look at it and you're just thinking, holy crap, there's no way that this could work. And then you go here to their hardscape ad where it's just plain as plain as day and just text one image that's really hard to see. And basically what you see is what you get, which is a couple calls to action. And you guys, give me a no way in the chat box. If you think that these ads don't work, they're just a bunch of crap. And all you're going to get is a bunch of cheapskates. Looks like everyone thinks this is a bunch of crap. <laughs> Go figure. But here it is. Here's kind of the results from these ads. Nearly 21 grand in sales generated in just one week. And the only ads that they are running is on Craigslist, which costs $0. It takes a little bit of time to post them. And it's the, the return on that is just huge. Give me a heck yeah in the chat box if you guys think that's cool and would want to do that. And imagine your business making even just half that at 10 grand a week or even half of that at five grand a week or even just bringing in a couple extra thousand dollars in one week's time with just a couple small jobs. I think that would be really, really cool. Looks like it's all rolling in, rolling in. Everyone's saying, yep. Yeah, looks like Tiffany says some areas use Craigslist more than others. Yeah, definitely they do. Uh, it can really depend on how populated your area is. Some cities, obviously, if you're in maybe Wyoming, uh, aren't going to have too much activity on there, but you never know. But basically what we've covered here is how to get your first landscape clients within just a couple of hours. I believe it was Troy who had posted earlier is going to try that technique with social media, see what works. And some may even get, he may even get a first client here uh, before this training is all said and done. Also, how you can go out there, do these installs without having any equipment and just doing basic installations that are super profitable and then take that money and that profit to reinvest it into more advertising and more uh, equipment as you start growing and growing. And then three unique advertising methods that are 100% free and have generated tens of thousands in revenue, as you guys can see. So let me ask you guys a question. This stuff is pretty cool, right? How many of you guys are excited? How many of you guys are just plain overwhelmed with what we've covered thus far? Number three is a great idea. Good stuff. Zach says, holy cow, I got a lot of work to do. <laughs> So if you guys followed what I'd showed in secret one and found some clients, and then you did what I'd kind of showed you in secret two, where you get the deposit before you even start up the job, before you even call the locates in. So that way you don't have to risk any of your money before getting a paid client. And then you use the methods from secret three to get more and more clients for basically next to nothing until you can then start using paid forms of advertising. You guys think you could have some form of success with that, with growing uh, and getting started and getting your business up and running? Give me an X or a yes, hell yeah, whichever you want. Looks like, oh, Troy asked, uh, do you personally succeed? He says, yep, of course. Do you personally succeed with number three? Yes, definitely. Uh, I actually had used Craigslist 
quite a bit. And when I realized when those guys were doing that back in, they started doing their business in 2013, they started with uh, Craigslist and they just did these plain ads. And I was trying to go and do all these just super irrelev- or uh, super just fancy coding and all that crap to make it look good. And then I just broke it down and made it really, really simple. And actually had landed a few maintenance clients that were spending about two to $3,000 a year annually. So I was happy with the return on that. And then also with the LinkedIn that it, that's actually helped out tremendously to have like that banner in the background where uh, it says, Hey, do you want to check out online marketing and then having a special offer? And that actually has works uh, quite a bit just because there's so many business owners on LinkedIn, uh, not only just the regular workers, but uh, let's see here. It looks like Amy says, yep. And everyone says, yeah. Okay. So, how would it help you guys? I want I want to serve you guys. How would you like if I actually help you implement all this stuff, all this, all the new knowledge that we've learned? Uh, it's really impossible to explain it in a 60-minute presentation, but I tried to cover as much as possible. And I also created a special package for those who are ready to maybe move forward and want to implement this new kind of opportunity and new advertising techniques. So would it be all right if I spend maybe 10 minutes going over a special offer created to help you guys implement generating five figures in new landscape sales? Uh, let me know in the chat box if you guys are interested. If, if you're not, then maybe I uh, won't do it. But all right, it looks like a whole bunch of yeses are coming in. Yes, sure. Hell yeah. All righty. Cool, cool, cool. Looks like some more yeses rolling in. So I would like to introduce you guys to Entrepreneurship 101. Basically what it is, is a massive eight module masterclass where we show you how to establish an official legitimate business along with getting the other vital requirements such as proper licenses, taxes, uh, insurance, all those sorts of things, as well as the whole financial background of it with knowing financial statements, balance sheets, your uh, financial, uh, what is it called? Your income statement, profit and loss, balance sheet, cash flow statement, all those sorts of things. A ton more marketing techniques that, frankly, your co- your competition is not going to want you to know about, and probably uh, would be scared that you would know about it. And also an in-depth guide on creating a pricing system so that way you can sell your services and be profitable at the same time with focusing on profit and making sure that you're making enough money on every single job. And really, just eight modules of handheld, every detail covered training. And here's basically what we all cover. So module one is lawn landscape business foundational setup. So getting the business registered, selecting the right form of business. So like whether it's a corporation, LLC, that sort of stuff, getting into the numbers and getting the tax ID, all that sort of stuff, as well as how to handle like working with working for subcontractors, as well as having subcontractors work for you. So that way you don't have to have a whole bunch of uh, just tax issues to uh, deal with and all that sort of stuff because that can be really, really tricky. Choosing the right equipment in module two, figuring out what equipment is used on which jobs, which trucks work for best jo- or which jobs, uh, as well as step-by-step instructions for all lawn, landscape, and snow services. So everything from mowing, fertilizing, weed control, aerating, overseeding, getting into fall cleanups and spring cleanups, dethatching, and then in the landscaping with mulch, rock, step-by-step with patios, really big uh, few videos there for patios, as well as retaining walls, landscape renovations where it comes to removing the lawn, replacing it and sodding and installing sod. And then with snow, we get into the the residential snow removal, commercial snow removal, snow stacking or snow pile stacking and everything and anything in between. And module four, how to price jobs, including the templates on how to set all that up. Then we get into mastering your marketing, just an incredible amount of videos and training in there. And then we get into taming the beast, basically how to operate and manage your business with going about really just scheduling jobs and uh, planning out your work week, how to communicate with clients, when to market to the right clients, when to uh, start communicating and start getting that client relationship going, managing employees, and then also a little bit of the motivation kind of mindset and networking aspect of things. So here are some of the guys that have come through Entrepreneurship 101. If you guys are in the East Coast, may have heard of him, Always Greener Landscaping, Patrick. Uh, He's been in business for many, many years. He still found just a ton of solid info for not only marketing his business effectively, which in the end reduces costs and makes him more money, but also getting jobs done more efficiently. This is excellent training. And then Jackson here, who is out of Minnesota, 
Yeah, as I said, if you're looking to start your lawn care business, look no further. I thought entrepreneurship was a very simple step-by-step guide to follow, reduce a ton of headaches when looking how to get set up, registered. I love the simple templates for pricing and marketing as well. Helped him grow his business drastically. And probably one of my favorites here is Tyler, who said, if you were looking to start or expand your business, I highly recommend it. It's detailed for starting up your business, but being that he was in business for nine seasons now, he thought getting this course and getting into it would be just a really waste of time, but it wasn't loaded with helpful, actual usable info to start up his business and make it grow or to start up a business and make it grow. Also outlines how to get going with barely any money to get things off the ground. If you have any interest in growing your existing business or starting one today, do not hesitate. So who will this work for? If you're a beginner, you'll be able to get your first paying clients and sales within 30 days. And then if you're a veteran, someone that's been in business for a few years, or maybe you're in year two, you can definitely increase your company's efficiency on job sites and in the shop or an office. So that way things are more organized, but you can also learn how to really just scale your business up to the moon. So you'll also get the bonus training module, which is an ever-growing module of landscape project case studies. So basically we break down an entire project from the initial client communication. So how we got the job, the tasks tasks that we had to do on the job, the problems we had encountered such as problematic customers or weather, all that sort of stuff, how we had solved those. And then also the numbers with the gross on the project as well as the net profit and just a whole lot more basically. So that way you're ready for whatever comes your way and you don't have to worry about how to approach maybe the larger jobs or the ones that are just a step above what you're used to doing. So because when I was figuring out this stuff, I would basically end up just running into a roadblock. If I didn't know how to do like a full landscape renovation, we would just do trial and error and it would just be uh, a nightmare some days. And And also instead of spending maybe years or even tens of thousands of dollars in college for horticulture or landscape training, you, or I would have to ask my teacher how to basically handle these situations and uh, basically getting help from him was not very cheap, but that total value right there is 997. So basically what you're going to get at this point is the full training modules, which is valued in 1997, plus the bonus case study module, which is 997. Total value of that is 29.94. And then we get into bonus number two, which are the tools of the trade. So we're going to give you the contract proposal, contract proposal, and client communication templates. These are the exact templates that my company used for basically selling jobs with the proposals that we would send out signing on clients so that way your company is protected in the event that a customer doesn't really want to pay or uh, just overall just good communication with the client so that way each party knows what their responsibilities are and also being able to communicate them and uh, communicate with them cold calling emailing telephone all that sort of stuff so that way communication smooth because it's very, very, very important, especially within the landscape installation side of things when there's weather and all those sorts of things. And sometimes if you hit like a pipe or or there's a million different things that could come up, but that's a value of 497. That's for the first 20 people that hop in only. So breaking it all down, the full eight training modules worth 1997 bonus case study model for 997. And then the bonus of the tools of the trade for 497 the total value of that at 1391 but then you will also get access to the strength in numbers community basically you get access to our private support community for just entrepreneurship 101 members only group that truly honors itself on networking with like-minded business owners so that way they can help each other win in business Plus, we also do live Q&A webinars twice per month where you get to basically have all your business questions answered by me as well as some of the special guests that we've had on. And if you really were trying to go to like a business networking conference where you'd have to travel and do all that sort of stuff and fly there and pay for the ticket and all that sort of stuff, it would really cost thousands. But you will not need to do that because we're giving you all this as a special bonus making it way easier to talk with business owners that can see things from maybe different perspectives. So maybe if there's something with a customer service type of issue, you can get that solved, uh, help you out with pricing, equipment problems, the list goes on. The cool thing is, is that you can get mobile access. So if you post in the group, hey, I just got a problem with the mower here on site, everyone in the group gets that notification and is able to see that, hey, uh, this guy's got an issue and they'll get the, the notification right to their phone. They can answer that question really, really quickly. 
and then get you back out on the job site and back working. That's a value of 497. And again, that's only for the first 20 people only. So what you'll get again is the eight full business training modules valued at 1997. The bonus case study modules were 997. Bonus number one of the tools of the trade worth 497. And then the strength in numbers community worth 497 total value of $3,998. And so then bonus also number three, uh, a 30 minute consultation with me worth $9.97, where you can basically ask me anything you possibly could want to know about your business, anything, even if it's not business, if you want to talk, just whatever, you certainly can do that if that's what you would like. Uh, really just get all your questions answered and do, uh, and just get, get anything that you would maybe need to know, kind of just answered so that way you can move forward with your business and get the perspective of maybe some customers that you have, or maybe you want to get into a different market, different uh, expanded different services. Maybe you've never done hardscapes and you want to ask me maybe, Hey, how do you do hardscape projects and how do you get started? How do you start marketing to those clients? And total value on this is nine ninety seven. The bonus is for the first people only and only those live on the webinar. And this is also for doers only because I'm guessing there are probably two kinds of people listening right now. You're either a doer or a dabbler. Dabblers love to sit down and listen and learn but they rarely do anything and they often look for any excuse not to move forward. And some of you guys might be doers and you're maybe not sure how this is going to work for you, but you see how it's worked for me and worked for other people. So you have faith that it will work for you as well. And what I've found is that the doers who are, who are the ones who get ahead in life while the dabblers don't make any progress ever. Are you guys doers or dabblers? Looks like everyone in here seems to be a doer. <laughs> Perfect. Much better. We don't want dabblers because you just, you never get any success, unfortunately. But so all of what you're going to get is the full eight business training modules and that valued at 1997 bonus case study module for all the landscape projects valued at 997. Then you get bonus number one of the tools of the trade, all the contracts, the proposal and the client communication templates that's worth nine four ninety seven, and the number two of the strength and community strength and numbers community valued at four ninety seven, and then also the for the first five you will get the thirty minute consult with me worth nine ninety seven, and bring the total value of this package to four thousand nine hundred and eighty five dollars. So if all this package did was finally make your business profitable, would it be worth it for 5,000 bucks one time to potentially earn 10 times more or 10 times that or more within the next few months? You guys think that that'd be worth it? Or would it be worth, if it just kicked you in the butt to finally get moving, would it be worth it then? Or if you even had earned just two or three landscape and sell jobs from this training per month, would it be worth it? How much is one client worth it to you? And especially if you think about it over the long term, if a client pays five grand for a landscape installation and then they do basic maintenance services for one grand a year and they stay on for maybe two, three, five years or even more, there's 10 grand right there worth it. That's certainly double up what the investment would be of this at $5,000. Not to mention the word of mouth also that could be generated from just that one client when they're happy with the project that's done because you get all the training on how to do the projects the right way. Now to learn all these things, you'd have to spend upwards of probably $50,000 on a college education plus years and years of painstaking trial and error to get things right. So what would the end result be worth it be worth to you? If you had a successful business today that was making you money, what would it be worth to you? How much would you pay to have that one successful business? You could also go out there and maybe buy someone else's business, but you're talking upwards of $100,000 or more to have one that's already got systems in play, marketing going, all the branding and that sort of thing going on, as well as all the uh, equipment and people, all that sort of stuff. And there's one way to go about it. But you could probably see why some people would pay $5,000 for a similar result from this. 
be, but that's because it's not a cost. It's an investment. It's no different than going out there to the stock market and putting 5,000 bucks in Apple stock and then hoping it maybe, maybe will gain more money in the future. But the thing with stocks, you have no control. The business you have control because it's your thing that you own. So you can see why it's a good deal at nearly $5,000. But even at 997, which is what I would charge the public, it's still a great deal. But I had two choices to go about this. I could either make it as cheap as possible and try to sell as many of these as possible and get as many people coming in. But the problem with that is that I really couldn't stack on the value for you. So I decided to go with a second option, which obviously requires a slightly higher investment on your side. But in exchange for that, we can dedicate more time, energy, and resources to help guarantee your success. So you can get started today for 297. I'll put the link here in the chat box. It looks like some of you guys are just going crazy with all the comments here. I'll put the link right here in the chat box. So that way you guys can click on it and go right over there right now. there really quick Troy says this is awesome he's pumped not sure why the chat thing isn't working what's the deal here with this there we go sent over there so now one thing is that if let me put this into perspective for you guys if you went to the regular website right now, you could buy this course for $9.97. But since you guys had invested this time with me and you've proven that you want to start your business or grow your existing one, making just this special offer for this workshop, which is the $2.97 today. And with that, you guys have two choices. You could either really just do nothing and if you do nothing with the information you learned in the last hour or so, what will you get? Nothing. Or you can choose to take a leap of faith, 100% risk free. Just test it out to see if it will work for you. And you have really nothing to lose but avoiding stress and headaches and potentially expensive mistakes by being ahead of the curve and being able to know exactly what could be coming ahead within your business endeavor. And we also have a money back action based guarantee. You can test drive it now, see if it will work for you because you really have nothing to lose. So the real question though, is that, is it worth placing a small bet on, of your time to check this out? Is it worth it? Because even if it only does half of what I've claimed it does today, it will pay for itself in as soon as 30 days, if one applies themselves and gets out there and brings some customers in 297 bucks and the 10 X ROI is not out of the question to see, uh, with some people that come in. So again, what you're all going to get eight full business training modules worth 1997, nearly 20 some hours of learning there. Bonus case study module valued at $9.97. You'll also get the tools of the trade bonus, the contract proposal, and client communication templates. So that way you can have everything ready to go. You can literally get an ad running today and go meet with your first client tomorrow, take the measurements for the project, and get the proposal sent over to them. You could probably start your next job by Thursday. And you also get the strength and numbers community worth $4.97. You get access to the Q&A webinars as well as being able to interact with other like-minded business owners. And then you also get the 30-minute consult with me for the first five people that come in, which it looks like there's only uh, two spots left of that. And once the workshop here is closed out, that is not going to be available anymore. But the total value of that is $4,985. And you guys can get started now for just 297 bucks today. Link is in the chat box and I'll place it there again, just for those who might've been 
sleeping at that. So another thing is that I've seen some questions coming in is that a lot of people really in this world will live paycheck to paycheck every couple of weeks though you get paid and you get your fixed cost paid like your rent and your food and then there's usually some money left over that's disposable income a lot of people are going to blow that every single month say they have a thousand bucks in disposable income they're going to spend it on going out new tv iphone uh, until it's all gone all short-term pleasures that are gone in an instant but the cool thing is that money replenishes itself every two weeks or so boom there's another thousand bucks in disposable income that you can spend or 500 or 1500 or whatever the amount is. Most people will spend that cash on things that don't add value to their lives in a meaningful way. You should be investing that money into something that will help you and your business. That's the power of disposable income. It comes back every couple of weeks and then boom, there's more money. So when you purchase this, this is an investment. This is also tax deductible, just a form of education. You go to a super expensive seminar from say maybe like the uh, one of the green industry conferences, that's probably going to cost double what this is. And I'm willing to put a big bet that there isn't anywhere near half the value that you will find in this. But if you only got... Well, actually, you know what? I'll just stop right here. If I stopped right here and you only got the lessons on just installing patios and retaining walls, would it still be worth the investment? Would it be worth it? but you're also getting an entire training archive on how to efficiently perform all landscape installation services. And you will also get step-by-step -step instructions for lawn care and maintenance services, as well as snow and ice management services, how to go out there and market and price each one of them and manage your business, schedule in your jobs, manage your guys working for you. And I want to make sure that nothing is standing in the way of your guys' success. So if you guys are still on the fence, it's time to open up a new browser window. Go to entrepreneurship.com slash go and get started. And remember, there is a 30-day money back guarantee. The only thing, the only way for you to know if this is right is for you to get started right now. You can go and get your account right now, entrepreneurship.com slash go. There's the money back guarantee. But let's open it up for questions to see what you guys are wondering and if you have any questions that need to be answered. And I'm going to take a drink of water quick. Okay, let's see here. Looks like Andy had said, uh, let's see. Wondering about mowing and how to schedule all that. Yeah, Andy, that's all covered in there with scheduling, um, basically with laying out your work week and how to kind of plan jobs and, and route them. So that way you know uh, really how to go about it and how to get each, uh, each job done in an efficient manner with avoiding traffic because that's probably one of the biggest pain in the butts in the world is to be stuck in traffic when you have guys in your truck and paying them and they're not doing anything. So that's one of the things that we cover a lot of. We get into also a DOT and kind of watching out for them so that way you don't uh, get stuck with the DOT sting and, and that sort of thing. If you're someone that's really new to business, you might not even know about that, but uh, something that can cost a lot of money and get fines if things aren't strapped down enough and really that's uh, that they'll, they'll just find whatever reason they can for that. But also uh, just the time that's going to be involved with it because usually when they're doing a sting, they're pulling over every truck that's pulling any form of equipment that looks like they're doing it for business. And then you're stuck there for hours and hours and hours. You got four guys in the truck uh, time. Uh, the, the, the amount of money right there can add up very, very quickly. So I'll take another drink of water here. Let the, let the questions roll in.
Okay, looks like Troy says, hey, man, thanks for doing this. Hey, heck yeah, man, I'm, I'm happy to help. Um, that's really the whole reason entrepreneurship exists is because I've really made business my entire life for about the past eight years or so, just becoming obsessed with cutting grass and all that sort of stuff. I remember spending about, oh, man, probably about five hours a day just researching business and all that sort of stuff. And uh, yeah, that's what we're here to do. Ha happy to help as many people as possible. Trista just bought it. Really looking forward to it. Cool, cool. If you have any questions or anything, um, either post here if we're still going with the workshop, but otherwise, um, be sure to just hit the support line. I'll be on there working through the rest of the night to uh, help the guys because I'm sure there'll be a bunch of questions from a lot of people. But if you have any trouble with logging in or anything like that, sometimes people with the new account uh, have uh, maybe their email. Like the usually the email gets sent straight to the spam for whatever reason because it's a new website sending the like login information. If you go and log in with like a an app or something, that same thing kind of happens. But let's see any other questions. So Zach asks, do you get into like Facebook ads and all the online stuff? Yep. We have a really, really in-depth guide with building a website for your business. Something where before you'd have to go out and spend thousands of dollars or maybe not a thousand, but to get like a, a halfway decent site built, you would have to either go through GoDaddy and that sort of stuff. And a lot of times their sites don't rank very well. So it's really hard to find uh, basically getting, or basically it's hard to find the website. So you either have to pay a designer to do all this stuff or you have to really just go and um, do all that. Uh, and we basically broke it down with creating a WordPress site, how to get it started and basically have it uh, hosted by a company that you choose. And that way you can go out there and it costs basically nothing to keep it going for uh, as far as hosting goes, you get custom email addresses and then getting into uh, getting it ranked in Google, as well as how to go about it uh, with ranking and all that sort of stuff, and then building out the site to make sure it looks good and ranks up in the search engines. Let's see, Lyle. Let's see, Lyle asks the support link does not work. Um, here, Lyle, I'll put the support email address right here in the chat box, really quick. They might be a little bit overwhelmed right now with uh, how much the how much tickets are how many tickets are coming in, but that'll be it right there for you. Uh, sometimes the might have to we'll have to check over that button. Um, Troy asks, "Can I purchase additional time to call and talk with you? Maybe a few different calls to get some feedback." Yeah, man, absolutely. We'll uh, we'll talk uh, another maybe maybe we can. Well, when we talk and we do the uh, the call here in the next couple of days, we can set something up and. Uh, maybe do a few more calls later on, maybe do like a kind of an accountability type of thing. So that way you can uh, set some goals and then I kind of hold you accountable. I do the same thing with a digital marketing friend of mine and uh, something that actually works really, really well because you don't want to go back and look like a fool when you set a goal and don't make it. <laughs> so Troy says, sound great. Sounds great. Cool. Uh, let's see if there's any other questions. See another one. Oh, it's about Facebook ads. Oh yeah. Whoops. I totally forgot to answer that from the other question. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, we get into that really breaking down with how to set up the proper page for it. Because a lot of times there are a lot of guys that run Facebook ads and there are companies that spend just thousands of dollars. I even see the ads in my feed basically with people uh, or with bigger companies that are spending a lot of money on advertising. And the the big thing is that the pages that the people clicking on the ad, they're being sent to like the homepage, which is really confusing for somebody who is just seeing your company for the first time. So we get into really setting up the right kind of page for that. So it's basically a landing page where you run a certain kind of discount to bring in people. And, um, and we break down how to go about setting up the ads the right way. So that way it's set up to get people to come to the site and you can get some data and then you can start retargeting them. And then whole bunch of crazy stuff that that's all involved in that. And that's one of the things that I do a lot with the marketing business is really just getting, uh, when you, when someone comes to the website, you want to basically track them. If you go to Amazon, add something to your cart and don't buy, you're going to start seeing those ads within your newsfeed on Facebook, as well as any site that's within the, within the Google network, you're going to see those ads with almost instantly because they want you to come back and buy it. So that's what, that's another thing that we cover, uh, doing the same thing with the lawn landscape company site. I'm going to take another drink of water here and see if 
Is there any more questions? Let's see here. Troy asked, is there a mastermind group outside of the group mentioned here? Um, as of right now, we just have the one uh, group for Entrepreneurship 101. Uh, haven't done anything quite yet with like a mastermind group. We'll see how things go in the future. And if there's a big enough demand to kind of set something up like that, we might do it. But uh, as of right now, there is not one. Just the just the community group that we have right now. All righty. Let's see if there's any more questions here. Let's see. Uh, last question. Do you have any experience with companies with multiple locations? Uh, I personally, my business was one location, um, but I have had some experience working with some companies that are, are pretty much one location as far as where their shop is, but they had about 28 trucks and about 70 people working for them. And they actually drove uh, there were a couple days out of the week. They would drive about 50 to 60 miles to another city where they kind of had specialized in like lake homes and that sort of thing for those particular days when it comes to maintenance and as well as doing some little bit of landscape insulation. But uh, it, to be honest and answer that question, my company was single location just because that's uh, the area we knew. And that's kind of what we had stayed with because I knew how profitable we could be just keeping the overhead down and then that sort of thing. Okay. Uh, Troy says, cool. Discuss my idea with you on the phone conversation. Excellent. Yeah, we can do that. Um, alrighty. Any other questions from anybody on here? Looks like everyone's saying, heck yeah. Can't wait to get going on this. Alrighty guys. Looks like the questions have pretty much closed out. Um, if you guys are just joining in, looks like there are a couple of people that just came in about an hour late. Um, there probably will be a replay, maybe not, but we'll see. But uh, otherwise, yeah, we probably might do another one of these events sometime soon. It's actually kind of fun doing it. I I, uh, I like kind of getting in and being able to tell a bunch of people and share a bunch of information on stuff that had really helped me with my business. So, all righty, guys. Thanks for coming on out on your Tuesday night. Thanks for, uh, yeah, coming on out and uh being a part of the entrepreneurship community. So, all righty, guys, we'll talk to you guys later. Troy says, thanks for being so inter interactive. Yeah, absolutely, man. I'm here to help. That's what, that's the whole reason entrepreneurship exists. I wanted to create a big shortcut for the guys uh, that were in my position, say, eight years ago with wanting to get going, but no idea where to go. And that's, yeah, really what it was all about. So it's just getting getting things going. So, Alrighty, guys, if you have any other questions, be sure to, you can either find me on Facebook, Instagram, any of that sort of stuff, or uh, anything related to the site, support at launchmanship.com is where you can uh, get answers on all those questions. So thanks for coming on out, guys. We'll see you next time.